After this, Jesus traveled about from one town and village to another, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out. Joanna, the wife of Cusa, the manager of Herod's household. Susanna and many others. These women were helping to support them out of their own means. And so begins our story of Mary Magdalene. We don't know how long she was plagued with this illness. We don't know why these evil spirits had possessed her. But we do know that when Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, that the prophecy was fulfilled about him as he read the scrolls, the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And when he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down, the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began by saying to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. We know that after Jesus left the synagogue, he drove out an evil spirit in a man, saying, Be quiet and come out of him. We see later how he approached a man with leprosy and how the man cried out, Lord, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man and said, I am willing, be clean. And later still, he heals a paralytic that was brought before him by a group of men. And he proclaims that his sins have been forgiven. And so now, here he is in front of Mary Magdalene. We don't know the conversation that took place. We only know that she was there before him and he was willing and he drove out the sickness. He took away the affirmities and she was grateful because she got up at that point and followed him. And this is the beginning of the story of Mary Magdalene.